are we filming? Yes, yes. So I have received this. Uh, it is a binder. Let me just show you it. Um, hiding my address on the other side, but it's okay. I don't think I'm going to cut anything inadvertently. So let's have a look what we've got. Um, I have high hopes for this, but obviously uh just in a bubble mailer like this with no real padding there is a risk that i will have to reject it because of damage but we will see uh have i got anything in here that has got an address on it no doesn't look like it so what have we got here uh this is a microfile mini filofax and I've, I've I deliberately bought this in a well-used condition, quite cheaply. Uh, it looks like it's got many of the original, many of the original uh, inserts. Um, but uh, but it is it is I I need to really find a I need to compare it really with a uh, with a. Um, with a with a, a mini executive so i'm just going to pause there for a second and then uh i'm, I'm clearly not organized this morning okay we are we are back so so this is the microfile mini sized binder and this is my filofax mini executive and as you can see let me let me do that so there is quite a substantial difference in the height um, let's have a look at the width because the mini executive is slightly wider this this way than the Guildford Mini Extra Slim. So it's not the smallest, but uh, it's 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 the same height, uh, but it but the mini executive is slightly wider. But let's see how that compares. Um, it's all almost the same, isn't it? Let, let's just try them this way and see and you can see can't you that the the actual microfile is actually smaller it's shorter in in width from there to there than the executive so it's probably about the same as my Guildford Mini Extra Slim so this is very very small indeed it's made of it's made of leather it actually has an interesting pen loop because the pen loop rather than attach to the hem of the the, the the leather hem here it's actually attached to the loop i actually quite like that although if we have a look at the actual width of it it's really only wide enough uh, the diameter for a pencil. This is a this is a Pilot V7, which is identical to the width of a standard Filofax pen, and you can see that you can't get anything in there. But because I don't like pen loops, I'm not a real fan of pen loops. Uh, then it doesn't really matter to me. But I actually like. Let me zoom into there because this this deserves. I haven't actually seen one of these before close up, but that construction detail deserves special mention. I think that's really neat because although it's really only good enough for a super, super narrow pen or a pencil, um, let me just put this uh, paintbrush in here just to give you an idea. So it's, uh, it's really only, have I got a pencil here? Um, I'll tell you what I do have. I have got a, I've got a Parker I've got a Parker pen here, and that is this fits a standard Filofax pen loop. So let's see if that will go in there. No, it won't. Can you see that? It's definitely for designed for something much, much, much narrower than that. So very, very interesting. But maybe a pencil in there. Um, cut the, cut the pencil to length and just fit it in there. Probably be all right. Um, but interesting but i like the design i really really like that design um i'm uh, i'm trying to have a look yes i can so this is a prim popper 
uh, very, very similar to the prim poppers that uh, Filofax have used in the past. I'm not sure whether they do now, but certainly the, the vintage ones have prim poppers, which are German, excellent quality. Um, this probably dates from 1996. Now, if it is, this is one of the last. If it, I can't can't be sure, but let's let's assume that it is. Let me zoom out again. So, this shall we assume that this does indeed come from 1996. Now, um, the thing about microfile, I mean, it microfile was a a trademark of Tops of England, T O P P S, um, who were incorporated back in 1950. Eight. Um, so th th this is interesting because uh, this was this was um, this was perhaps made in the UK in nineteen. I believe it was made in the nineteen ninety nineteen uh, in England. It says fine leather England. I am pretty sure actually that this was actually made in England, but. I, but but then again, can I be sure? No. Let's 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 say let's say I can't be absolutely sure. Um, but what I do know is that as a matter of record, in 1996, um, Microfile uh, had eight staff. I think they had three in the office and uh, five uh, production staff. So a very very small operation. And they were turning over just over half a million quid, half a million pounds in 1996 for uh, their parent company, Tops. Um, they started, they started in um, 1989. So they, they are kind of, uh, th this is another of those companies that, that, the, the enterprises that, that jumped on the uh, Filofax boom bandwagon. Um, and they had, uh, from what I can gather, as a as a matter of public record, they had twenty four staff in eighty nine, and then in nineteen ninety they had twelve. By the time nineteen ninety six came up, they just had eight production and office staff combined, and then in nineteen ninety seven they had seven. And then after 1997, uh, the operation was transferred to Filofax themselves. Um, so that, that's really, really interesting. Um, and financially, uh, financially, they um, uh, they. They were just, they were declining sales. So 1989, three quarters of a million. Uh, 1990, 625,000. 1996, 535,000. And 1997, 444,000. And that's not profit. That is turnover. So it's, it, it's, uh, indicative of a decline in the boom years, as it were. Um, but, uh, and, and then, uh, and then, uh, and, then, and then they were kind of uh, uh, dissolved in 2017, um, as I understand it. Uh, if you know more, let me know. So what do we have here? Let's let's actually take these out and see whether I have invested well or invested poorly. So these look like they've been, you know, sitting in a drawer for some time. Uh, but there is a bit of there is a bit of wear, so we can see. Let me zoom in again. We can see that um, this it it is actually it, it is actually um, quite a nice fabric that stamps microfile. Quite quite good quality, I think. It has a sort of quality feel. I mean, it's rudimentary, um, but it it does have a quality feel. I quite like this. Um, Let's have a look at see if the uh, the rings are lined up. They are indeed. Um, they don't say Krauss. Some of the microfile binders uh, use Krauss rings, but these don't say Krauss on them. However, 
the rings are very, very nice. I'm very impressed with that. Now, whether or not they are the same as the ones in my uh, Mini Executive or not, who knows? But uh, I'm just trying to see. Um, I would say, I would say the microfile ones feel more. Uh, uh, more solid. It's hard to judge quality, um, but they feel like they're going to last uh, quite some time. They're all in alignment. There are no gaps. Are there any gaps in my mini executive? There is a slight gap there, but nothing to write home about. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not really a fan of the, um, of the. There we go. The, the uh, um, strap, retaining strap. But to be honest, it's okay. It's it's okay. That that will be all right. Uh, I'm not going to cut it off on this one. Um, we have got two on this side. We've got two full length, uh, full length pockets on this side. We've got another full length pocket, and then we've got one, two, three card slots uh, and again not with the with the file effects as point of reference we've got a similar arrangement but on this side we've got three card slots one full length pocket and then one full length pocket on this one but this feels uh more luxurious the leather um i quite like that although the inside we've got this this perennial problem with uh flaky leather which is not good um but here and i'm gonna zoom out again here we uh it, it just feels more i mean it feels like it will last forever to be honest and something i really like if we if we zoom back in if we zoom back in now file effects themselves i mean these are absolutely perfect these are some of the best corners some of the best corners i've ever ever seen if you if you look at some models the, the corners where they've cinched up the leather, it's absolutely appalling, frankly. It looks horrible. These are fantastic. They're done really, really well. But Microfile have had a different... They have had actually a, a different construction method where they have effectively cut out a V so that when they fold them, there is no overlap. And I think, I think that is a really, really good way of doing it. A really, really clever, a really clever design. Um, so I like this. I like this a lot. Um, did I mention I like this a lot? Well, there we go. Um, and the leather feels like it's 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 definitely more hard wearing than than this. Uh, but although um, although these aren't particularly popular. Uh, they they uh, they are made of a reasonable quality, a reasonable quality. So there we go. Um, an interesting uh, acquisition. I might use this in some way. Uh, let me just check one thing before I finish, and that is whether or not the binder will take the standard ring spacing I, I haven't got my ruler with me but i'm just going to use a dashboard and yes it's it's obviously fine isn't it one two three four five standard mini size no problem at all and uh well i like it i like it a lot um interestingly one thing that that um i don't know whether this is a mistake but if you look closely uh, this might this might have slid out a little bit because the uh, I, I don't know whether this is a manufacturing fault. Um, I'll have to double check, but um, the observant amongst you will will notice that the that the the ring mechanism is actually down at this end and down at this end, so it's just moved out slightly, and the actual backing plate. The actual backing plate, let me zoom in again. The actual backing plate is visible here. It's coming out of its slot. Now, I don't know whether it's just been like that since the word go. 
um, as a uh, as a manufacturing fault, an assembly fault, or whether or not it's just slid down. But it seems fairly firm, you know. So maybe maybe there was a, maybe this is actually um, a manufacturing fault. Could be. I've only just noticed that, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but as a cheap acquisition, as a as a on the go, um, as an, an on the go. Let me zoom out again. As an on the go binder stroke wallet. Although I don't use these as a wallet because, as you know, I I I tend to keep my uh, bank cards separate from a file effects. But um, as a, as effectively as an inbox. This is actually uh, uh, th this is actually quite a good one, and to be honest, um, if this was new and I bought it, I would send it back because of the uh, because this uh, that this hasn't been mounted properly. But to be honest, I don't think it really really worry. I I wouldn't worry about it. What I am pleased about is the rings on this tend to they feel like they're absolutely bulletproof. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting, but I I, th I think this is one that I'm going to keep in my collection. I do rotate uh, my inbox because because that's what I like to do. Um, but I uh, one of the things I really really like about this one rather than this one is because of the flaky leather, which is something that uh, uh, to, um, uh, with which uh, many of these Filofax models are afflicted, particularly the the Guildford models, and it, sadly, in this case, the uh, the executive model, uh, certainly in this mini size, it means that anything you put in here will pick up. As you can see, let me just let me just zoom in. You can see. Can you see all these bits? This is this is just um, spare spare paper that I keep in the back. But look at the state of that. Now, if you decides to buy a Guildford Mini Extra Slim, or in this case, the Mini Executive, you have to accept that the flaky leather will turn your spare pages or any pages that stay in there long enough, that the bits will just hemorrhage off the surface of the, the substrate onto whatever you're doing. And it's nasty with a capital N. Look, did I say nasty? Yes, I did. This is nasty. But I put up with it because of the form factor. I love the form factor. Uh, and I just see them as working tools. If you want something that is more than a working tool, do not buy this. Do not buy this because you will be upset, disappointed, distraught, delete what is not applicable. But this one, because you've got the fabric, uh, this, this uh, is probably... Uh, easy and if I look at these bits of paper I can't see any bits of leather they look clean although these these look as if they're you know uh, nearly 30 years old and they've been in here perhaps in the back of a drawer but there has been some there's clearly been some wear and and use and it's been carried otherwise the, these wouldn't be dog-eared and, and turned over like this but I'll tell you what I'll tell you what from a from a point of view of n not having to worry about peeling leather uh, consider a microfile mini instead could be just up your street but I'll leave it with you thanks very much for watching and goodbye